You bring sunshine to others and for that we are glad. May you feel that this blessing is sent to you in hopes the day is successful in all you do and hopes the morning is successful in all you do. A blessing that will make you smile this day. Smile instead of cry. May the day be full of laughter. Laugh away the sad. Look at the bright side, not the bad. Bless your day. Vika in Medjugorje recently shared an important message from Our Lady. The message is for everyone in the world. It warns about upcoming events in different places that will be very challenging. So, it's crucial for people to be careful and smart by staying away from those specific areas when signs from the sky show a warning. The message talks a lot about being watchful and getting ready. It asks people to pay attention to signs from above because they might signal that something difficult is about to happen. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join and pray, Holy Spirit, Comforter, and Advocate, fill our hearts with your presence and grace. Guide us in the paths of righteousness, illuminate our minds with your wisdom. Come, O Spirit of God, and dwell within us, renew our spirits and transform our lives. Teach us to pray with fervor and sincerity, that our words may rise like incense before your throne. Grant us discernment to know your will, and courage to follow where you lead. Holy Spirit, the source of love and peace, bind us together in unity and harmony. Stir in us the fruits of your presence, so that we may reflect your grace to the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, take all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish you have given me. I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love are wealth enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more. Amen. Our Lady's message gently yet urgently reminds us that our world is not exempt from unexpected challenges. There are specific places where these challenges may be more intense. Now, this important message is being shared with all of you. My motherly blessing, beloved children of my immaculate heart. I walk beside my children, I cherish them, and I hold them close to my heart to ensure they don't go lost. Dear children, the sun is trembling and is radiating its fury towards earth. This will create a climate that will seriously harm both the earth and you. Earth continues to tremble with enormous anger as natural phenomena are amplified in response to my children's extreme disbelief in the messages of heaven. These will be terrible days, especially for those who do not seek refuge in the Immaculate Heart of Mary. As the day when I reveal myself gets closer, I will send the Angel of Peace to take care of and protect my people. But be watchful. Satan is getting ready to do something very bad, planning to bring a final curse to the earth. But I am here, ready to fight against evil with a strong power. Come together in prayer groups, stay close to me, and don't be afraid. God is with you, and those I have chosen will be surrounded by my love and kept safe. Unfortunately, many people are still not paying attention. They are busy with their plans and don't realize what is coming. Something unexpected will happen to France, Italy, Rome, and London if you see many fires around these places. 
that's a sign of a dark time. In the beautiful town of Provence, France, there will be the first signs of trouble. Fires will burn through the charming vineyards and hills, destroying old villages and their stone cottages. The once peaceful landscapes will turn into a big fire that will change the French countryside. People in Provence will be shocked to see their beloved region looking so different. At the same time, Italy will have a different kind of problem. In the romantic city of Venice, known for its canals and beauty, the water itself will seem to burn. Strange fires will start on the Grand Canal, creating a scene that will be hard to understand. The gondolas will turn into ash, and the people in Venice will be very surprised, wondering if their beautiful city can ever be the same again. As the fires move through Venice, they will cast a shadow over Rome. The Eternal City will also face troubles. The old sites and ancient ruins, saved for many years, will be in danger. Even the Vatican will be under threat, and the people who believe will feel like they need to act quickly. You should always remember to bring holy water wherever you go. Holy water is a special water in many religions. It shows purity, grace, and blessings from God. Carrying this special water with you is like showing your connection to God and staying strong in your spirit. Holy water will be like your good friend, always there for you. It can clean and make holy the places around you, getting rid of any bad energy. Some of my children might be scared when they see a big sign in the sky. I love you, bless you, and protect you. The practice of carrying holy water is not merely a ritual, but a profound act of faith and preparation. It safeguards your spiritual journey and those who share your path, ensuring that you are forever enveloped in the Divine's protective embrace, ready to face life's challenges with unwavering strength and grace. The message paints a picture of a catastrophic event involving mysterious fires in Venice and the potential consequences for Rome, Italy, and its historical treasures, including the Vatican. The mention of carrying the holy water serves as a spiritual reminder and protection against the unknown forces that may cause such devastation. Holy water is a symbol of purity and divine grace in various religious traditions. Now, let's come together and partake in a sacred moment of prayer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.